All right, we're gonna build a box with a lid in 60 seconds. First, I'm gonna change my file name. Box with lid. I'm gonna pull out a box. Change the dimensions here. I'm gonna make it a box 100 by 100 by 50. Duplicate the box, turn it into a hole. Press Alt and scale the box inward. I'm going to make it 90 by 90, so that'll be 5 millimeters all the way around for the box. Raise the hole up just a little bit to give it a base on the ground so it doesn't punch the hole all the way through. I'll make it 5 millimeters. Orbit. Duplicate the hole. Raise it up. Turn that into a solid so it fits exactly into the hole. We'll need to give it a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to take two millimeters off of each side. Now it should fit directly into the hole. This is just going to be a piece of the lid that will hold it into place. I'll make that five millimeters and then I will duplicate this. I will raise it up and this will be the lid and it will have to match the dimensions of the box. So 100 by 100 and again I'll just make this five millimeters. Okay, I'm going to align everything by using the align tool on the x-axis and the y-axis and then I'm going to group these two pieces together so I'm holding shift these two pieces group those together I'm going to push these two pieces so they connect and I will group these two pieces together and now I have a box with a lid that fits Now, to get this lid off the box would be kind of a task in itself, so I'm going to give it a handle. So you can just use any shape. Pull on shape, raise it up on the Z axis, bring it over so that it's touching the lid. I'm going to align it. So I'm going to hold shift, align it on the X axis and the Y axis, and then I'll group it. Now I'd like to 3D print this, so I need to export these as two separate files. So I'll take this one and I'll click export, uh, STL. It goes down into my downloads folder. It's called box with lid. So when I go to export this one, I'll just change the file name to box with lid top and export. And now I have an STL for the box and I have an STL for the lid. I can prepare those for print. Thanks for watching.